Hey guys, it's Bailey and welcome back to the channel for what is going to be a review of some brand new lip products from the brand Smashbox. They are the always on matte liquid lipsticks. Nope, that's a black box. Inside the black box are the liquid lipsticks and I have 10 shades. The brand was kind enough to send this to me um, as a sample, including the one that I'm wearing today, which is a shade made in collaboration with YouTube's own Lily Singh. It is called Baus. And I mean, it's Boss, B-A-W-S-E, but I can't say it without saying it like Baus. So if that bothers you apologies but have been loving this shade it is showing up a little bit brighter than it is in person it's more of a deep red but hopefully when I give you close-up swatches it'll be a little bit more true to color I'm getting ahead of myself though what this video will be is a review if you follow me on Instagram or snapchat I shared a picture like right when I got this in the mail unbelievably excited about a week maybe a little over a week ago, and this is all I've been using on my lips since. So I've had a chance to try all of the shades. So in that time, I've got a, gotten a good feeling for, you know, how these wear, how they make the lips feel. And so not only wanted to share my thoughts with you, but also give you swatches on the arm, on the lips, showing you act, the actual application of them all, the whole meal deal. So a lot of ground to cover. Let's go ahead and get started. To begin, these retail for $24 individually, which is not cheap as far as liquid lipsticks go, but it is pretty on par for what uh, Smashbox typically retails for. You get 0.13 fluid ounces in these, and what's interesting about this packaging is that uh, compared to the Be Legendary Longwear Lip Lacquers, I love these, uh, but you do get 0.2 uh, fluid ounces of product in here. Look at the size comparison. The packaging is definitely bigger. You have some excess like acrylic or plastic, whatever this is around the outside. So a little bit bulkier packaging, a little bit less product. And my main concern is for as much as I love these, spoiler alert, I really like the Longwear Liquid Lip Lacquer and I think I saw them on sale on Sephora or maybe on the Smashbox site or both. So I'm concerned they're doing away with these now that they have Longwear Matte Liquid Lipstick. So please tell me that's not true if you know the scoop in the comments below, but just a size comparison in the event that you also loan loaned, owned some of these Be Legendary lip products. The finish, like I said, is matte. However, it does go on like kind of a thicker liquid lipstick. It's not as liquid as many have come that I have tried. I would say it's on par with like a Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipstick. And I have heard consistency amongst these varies. So to be specific, my the one that I use most frequently is Celebrity Skin. And that is uh, the one with the closest consistency. So just for reference, it's, but it, I do find it dries much, much faster. This might be one of the fastest drying liquid lipsticks I've ever used, which personally is a plus because it gives me less time to goof it up as I'm applying. And when you're wearing something that's long wearing sets and dries and it's supposed to last all day, the last thing I want to do or I want to have is time to kind of muck it up in application. So really love that about these is how quickly they dry. And yet, despite the fast drying time and that texture, haven't noticed them drying my lips out at all. I have not, um, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have been wearing these ever since I got them and only these ever since I've gotten them, haven't applied balms or any kind of nourishing anything in between. So really, I mean, no lip treatments or anything to kind of ensure my lips are properly hydrated, not peeling, they're very non-drying. My lips don't exactly feel moisturized, like I do think it would help to apply some of that in between applications and overnight and things like that just to keep your lips especially lime free and smooth, but it's definitely one of the comfier formulas I've worn on my lips and that is consistent across all the shades that I have worn. Another note about consistency is how these apply and once again, whether it's kind of a nude, a gray, a bright, colorful, you know, purple or fuchsia like this or lilac, I guess that kind of is, uh, have not experienced any streaking. It's a very uh, even formula as it goes on your lips. No streaking, no patchiness, both as it wears away and as you know, you're applying it. I haven't needed to layer these up multiple times with any of the shades. so. Like once again, very consistent across all the shades. Now onto wear time. This guy on the box claims eight hour wear, which I find for the most part on most parts of my lips. <laughs> um, eating and snacking and drinking, it lasts beautifully through, whether you're drinking through a straw, from a glass, I never drink through a straw. So whenever I put this through the test, it has always been direct mouth contact on the glass and it lasts really, really well. It's not until it comes to like meal time when I'm having a salad or Thai food, you know, like noodles or rice, something like that that's a little bit more intense, puts a little bit more wear and tear on the lip product that I tend to see a lot of wear right in the center of my lips. So that's not unusual for me. Um, it's not the best product I've used in terms of lasting power in that area. I would say Jeffree Star probably outranks that for me, 
but I do find that it wears away really evenly. It doesn't get blotchy outside of that area. And when it comes time to reapply, I can ref refresh over the existing product that I'm wearing and it doesn't get cakey flaky or things like that. The other thing I find with this guy is that it is, for the most part, pretty transfer proof. You can see a very light outline here, but once I do start kind of intensely eating, like a meal, that sounds extreme, <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying, but like come meal time, when I'm not snacking or not just like sipping on water or coffee throughout the day, when it comes to eating a real meal, I do find that that transfer, you know, proof quality disappears a little bit, especially around the center of my mouth. Besides that though, all around the perimeter of the mouth, which is really personally for me where it counts because that's the hardest to touch up on the go to try and find a mirror and stay inside the lines. If I have to fill in the center of my lips, I'm a-okay with that. So easy to do that with and it stays comfortable all day if you do decide to just touch it up as opposed to remove it and reapply. The other nice thing is uh, when it comes to application and precise application at that, the applicator is this kind of pointed doe foot and so I find this is exactly what I need to get a clean lip line all the way around. I don't need to use a lip brush like a lot of kind of the traditional rounded doe foot applicators. I never use a lip brush, but with those, I probably should because I get, especially around my cupid's bow, like it's easier to get things uneven and, you know, just little wobbly looks, little kind of shaky lines. It's really easy to get a clean line with this guy. So really, that's it for me. I think these are some of the best liquid lip products I have tried to date so far because they are so easy to apply. They feel very lightweight on the lips. I don't think that's something I mentioned before, but despite how long wearing they are, how opaque and streak free they apply, they feel like I forget I am wearing them sometimes, which is good because I have a tendency when I don't realize I'm wearing lip products to like touch my lips. And so because these are transfer proof, I have found myself, you know, like, doing this thing and then you know touching my face elsewhere and I look in the mirror and I don't have splotchiness elsewhere so very lightweight and for the most part one of the longer lasting lip products I have tried and when it doesn't last it's very easy to layer up without looking you know gross and crusty and all that kind of stuff so would highly recommend you check them out and if there if there's a shade that you're interested in this collection that I didn't talk about obviously you can google swatches and stuff like that but I am really impressed with the consistency and quality across the 10 shades that I've tried so I would actually recommend if you know if you're not able to look at swatches or for some reason I would put the confidence in this line to go pick one up because I've just been so impressed with the consistency amongst the lines so really if this was helpful I'd love to hear your favorite shade if you've picked them up what you think of the formula as well let me know that in the comments below but besides that thank you guys so much for watching really hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you in the next video bye guys